I think the only thing I can do is rig it up and show you what I mean, because talking about it probably doesn't explain it very well. So I'll take the circuit board out of here and take the little mechanical stop out of there, which is, as far as I know, just a little plastic peg that we need to cut off. You'll probably notice a bit of hot glue around this servo. That's because I've used it before. But you can ignore that. We'll just take it apart. Hopefully my camera will stay in focus. May need to cut the label off or separate it because there's a top and a bottom. Don't go in too far, you don't want to cut anything inside. That'll do. Just focus, yeah. Right, the bottom end has got the circuit board in it, which we want to take out. So that's the electric motor just there. So we need to make connect connections to those two terminals. In there is a part that we won't need at all for my purposes. That's the bit that actually detects how much of a rotation the lever arm has made and that's not going to be important to us at all. We can just ease the rest of it apart. There we go. In there, that's the stop. That piece there, that's the bit that stops it rotating more than, well, 360 degrees, it actually stops it well before then. So that's the bit we're going to need to trim out the way so that it can keep rotating. So we don't want to move any of these if we can avoid it. So I'll put that down carefully. Right, so we want to get that piece out. So we have to take this off. that through. And we need to get that tag off. Oh, got to focus aren't we? We need to get rid of that. Which I'm going to try and cut with a pair of nippers or cutters. I'm not sure if these nippers will be strong enough to do the job. Seems to have done it. Might want to just trim that up with a knife. Right, I think we focused. So I've taken that little plastic peg out of the way, and I will try and get it back together. Right, I think that's in place. There you go, we're now doing full 360 degrees. We can unsolder all these wires because we don't need any of them. Take the wires off the motor. I could just cut these wires off. I'll try and be neat and unsolder them. <laughs> Should have used a little bracket or something to hold it still. Right, so. That's the circuit board that we're not going to use at all now. 
I won't throw it away, I'll keep it, I might find some use for it one day. Now we need to attach a couple of wires to the motor. thicker wires than the original were. I'm not sure if the cover will go back on without me trimming them a bit. Oh yes, looks like it will. Before I actually screw it down I'll just try it on a battery. Continuous rotation. You can use this simple modification to make little robots and that sort of thing if you want. Because you can use a small motor, lots of gearing, so you get plenty of torque. Right, I'll put the screws back in again and then we'll rig it up to open and shut the door lock. 